5G is going to be built on top of the existing 4G technology, but it will bring new higher frequencies for faster throughput and lower latency. Uh, there will also be a new transport network and also a new core network, and this will be software defined, which ultimately means that 5G is a programmable network that can be used for multiple use cases, not just for consumers, but for industry as well. Today, video is the majority use case for 5G networks. A recent Ericsson Mobility study shows that over 60% of the network capacity is used for video today. And that trend will increase in the future, maybe to 75% as video becomes more high definition. Uh, but one new use case we see with 5G for the consumption of media is artificial reality, virtual reality. And with this being launched in South Korea, we do see that the 5G network has immediately created lots of new use cases around artificial reality, virtual reality. Uh, this can be in sports stadiums, uh, entertainment, and today we see around 20% of the network capacity being used for these services.